friends. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> Welcome to a new vlog. And yes, I am in my car because yes, I finally left my house after two weeks of staying home or stepping outside. Guys, you're gonna hear my air conditioning because it is 9,000 degrees outside. I wanted to take Anthony's car because my air conditioning does not work in my truck. We're taking the truck. Which is now starting to blow hot air. Anthony is with me, by the way. Hi. <laughs> I just can't get my thing to vlog both of us, so I'm sacrificing him. Are you a virgin? Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah. it is blowing hot air. How is that not hot air? It's like a hair dryer. We're going home and we're getting your vehicle. Okay, so we're gonna try this again because now we're in Anthony's car because his air conditioning is recharged and working, but now you can actually see him. It is 90, no, it's 89 degrees outside. It feels like 94. The humidity is 100% and our air conditioning is on high. So you are going to hear it in this video and I'm not going to apologize because it's freaking hot outside. But anyway, what I was saying was I have not left my house in two weeks. Um, that's not entirely true. I did not leave my house for two weeks. And by not leaving my house for two weeks, it, was, it ended up being what? 16 days total? Yeah. It was a total of 16 days. Yes. I slept with agoraphobia. Yes, I have severe anxiety. No, I'm not on meds, and no, I'm not in therapy. And that's a whole other video I need to make, but I will, I need to make a video on that. But um, yeah, I hadn't left my house for two weeks straight, and then Anthony and I did go out to eat on, like day before yesterday. So I did leave the house. This isn't the first time, but it feels like the first time, and I'm terrified. I already forgot why I'm leaving the house. Five below. Oh yeah, we're running to five below. I have to, today's Sunday, which means it's a cleaning day, so we have to clean the animal cages. Anthony has already been cleaning the downstairs, and it looks fabulous. We have to, honestly, we have to shampoo the carpets, but Sarah is having a fence for the night, so we're not going to be doing that. And I really need to get some new organizational things for my drawers, for my like vanity, my makeup, and all of that. And then also, I got these. Because I've been using these clear bands on my hair because they're supposed to be having like less breakage and um, like they don't leave, yeah, like less tangledness, they don't leave the creases in your hair. And so Anthony found these by Scrunchy and they look, they look cute, okay? I like the neon colors, but inside of them they have like a little elastic band, so they only stretch so far and it kind of defeats the purpose of it being, of it being that foam cord oil. So we're going to return that. Um, yeah, but I haven't vlogged in forever. I've been doing a lot of beauty videos lately and while I love doing beauty videos they're not the only thing that I want to do I appreciate you guys letting me do the things that like I can do at the moment but vlogging is like probably my favorite thing to do so yeah it just feels good to get out of the house and to film but okay I'll see you guys in five below ah so listen it's freaking hot outside and everybody's lost their mind and nobody can freaking drive if you can't drive, if the heat has gone to your brain and you don't know how to do simple things like, I don't know, go the right way, use a turn signal, know when to go or when to stop at a freaking stop sign, please stay home, all right? PSA, you might get killed. And I'm not gonna kill you, but like, your stupid actions being a driver and not knowing how to drive is what's gonna kill you, all right? So, stay home. That was the coolest grandma ever. She was wearing a, an entire like neon, tie-dyed long sleeve blouse with leggings and the shirt had like neon tassels it was crazy that was cool but so at five below i got pink himalayan bath salts i love these things i don't really know if they do anything they make me feel like they do stuff um yeah i think it's no different than like the Louis bath salts i love these though okay self-care and then I got three of these things. I'll show you guys when we go back home what I'm gonna do to my vanity. But these are for, for um, organization. organization for my makeup. And then 
This is also for organization for my makeup. I need to get like something to put all my lipsticks in because I have way too many lipsticks. And then, because I had so much fun doing the last lip mask I got, I got these. These are three hydrating lip masks. I don't know. They're a lot prettier than that weird looking pink thing. But um, they're supposed to do something with collagen and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. But they're cruelty free and that's all I really care about. And then at Target, I got most importantly and very excitingly, I got Takis. Is that how you say that? Takis. Um, hot chili, pepper, and lime tortilla chips. I'm gonna try these, but they're vegan, you guys. I read through it and they have them at the gas stations where I live, but they're all like not vegan. They all have like, I think milk in it. Yeah, I think they all have milk in it. And then I got Batiste um, dry shampoo because I accidentally, I put oil in my hair. That's like the only styling product I use. And I put too much oil in my hair the other day. And so I tried to use shampoo, dry shampoo to uh, soak up the oil so as you can see I straightened it and you can see like it looks oily even though it's clean and I went through an entire well it wasn't all the way full it was maybe like three-fourths of the way full and yeah I just kept spraying it on my roots all the way down through the ends and it looked horrible my hair felt so stiff so chemically I don't know it was gross but anyway I need to get some more dry shampoo then I need to get makeup sponges because my real technique sponge that I just opened has a huge crack in it. So I got this Sonja, Sonja? Sonja Kashuk sponge. These are supposed to be really, 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 really good. They're huge, so I'm hoping like I can get my face done in two seconds. Then, is this the only other thing I got? Yeah, I got leggings. Um, I got a size small, because I don't know if I'm a small or a medium, but I'm hoping I'm a small. <sighs> I don't know. None of my clothes fit right now because I've gained so much weight, and I'm trying to lose weight, but until I lose weight, I have to have clothes that I can wear out and about, um, so I got leggings, and I took back those hair tie things. So let's try these things, the hot chili and lime. They smell like um, nothing. <laughs> they should smell like something, right? They should smell like fire. Oh my gosh. These, these are so good. Ooh, they are hot. Ugh, it's making like my jaw like clench back here. They're like sour from the lime, but then like they're hot afterward. Ooh, those are good. My eyes are gonna start watering. Um, I love that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I got leggings because I'm on a diet and I need to be able to work out and I have no clothes that fit, but um, let's eat some chips. Okay, so we're gonna go home. It's about to storm. Anthony is gonna go with Saray to go get her friend to spend the night. And I'm gonna show you guys, I guess my, how my makeup is organized. I've never shown you guys my vanity. So that's what I'll do when we go home. I will show you guys my vanity. My bedroom is a disaster. It is trashed. We have so much stuff that is supposed to go to Goodwill. But since I haven't left the house for two weeks, it's just been sitting in our bedroom. So I will, you guys are just gonna have to ignore that. But um, I'll show you guys my vanity and how I'm organizing things. I'm also gonna eat this entire bag. You wanna try one? Hell no. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Ooh, it's windy. I almost joked and said maybe we'll get a tornado. But we live in central Indiana. This it's is the been first. So freaking hot, and it's about to storm. There's probably gonna be a tornado somewhere. Well, this is the for the first year that we've gone almost like a 12 month calendar year, and not had any kind of tornado scare. Not true. We did have a tornado scare. Yeah, there's been quite a few. They've just not come around us. Yeah. Mmm. Okay. I'll see you guys inside. All right, you guys, so here's my vanity. It is a really big mess right now, so try to ignore that. Let me see if I can move you guys down a little bit. Not really, okay, I'll just take my camera off the mount in a second so you guys can see. So this is the drawer that I actually need to organize. I had all of my products in this drawer, but then I divided it and I put just my concealers, my primers, and my powders in here. And then down here I put like all of my highlights and face palettes and I've got like these miscellaneous like mascaras and things like that. So this is what I'm gonna be organizing.
This is 100% not working. 2,000 years later. Okay, so I think I have my vanity organized for the most part. So I will show you guys my vanity organization. It's probably not gonna make sense to you guys, but I will show you guys what my vanity looks like right now. And if you have any tips for organization, let me know down below. Do you hear the thunder? It's gonna be a fun night, great night. Okay, let's get into my vanity tour. So working from the bottom up, these two bags are actually bags that I just got from Ulta um, and I have like all my samples. These are all my makeup and skincare samples and these are like perfume samples, which I never use. Then this is my overpriced, overhyped, but still like really rad uh, PYT mini hair dryer. Those are things that I need to find a place for. Anthony bought me that sign for Mother's Day and I just need to hang it up. Then this is the next shelf and so I keep all my lotions. Um, then I have like my body scrubs, my, um, hair styling products, my hair mask. Then this is the, these are those uh, pink Himalayan bath rocks that I just bought. And yeah, just styling products and things like that. Then I've got my micellar water, my toothpaste, nail polish remover, which I never paint my nails, so I don't know why I have it. And then my makeup cloths. And if I have um, an overflow of masks, I usually put them in this thing. Then I have this storage thing. I got it at Target. I absolutely love it. And in the bottom one, I just keep all of my empties so that I can do like an empties haul and tell you guys whether or not I would repurchase, which here is my empty container for my previous uh, Himalayan bath, um, bath rocks. And obviously I like them enough to repurchase them. So yeah, keep an eye out because I actually have a whole uh, empties video that I just did. It's six months of empties. And I'm going to be posting that soon. So keep an eye out for that. Then the next drawer, this is where I keep all of my like really large eyeshadow palettes or like my weird misshapen eyeshadow palettes, like all my donuts. Um, these things have to lie flat, I guess. And then I have like my Zodiac palettes on here, which are huge. I just got this. You guys, I haven't even used this yet. I've heard it's really good, but it's giant, so it's down there. Okay, and then this next drawer is basically my masks, so my eye masks, my lip masks, then I have like all of my other, like these are peel-offs. These um, are like the tubes and stuff um, that I've gotten in BoxyCharm. I've got my uh, mask brushes that I use, and my rose quartz roller, my headbands, and face towels. And so just like anything that's overflow, I've got my face razors in here. I've had people ask me what razors I use. These are the Chic face razors. Um, I got them at Ulta and my camera doesn't want to focus on them. Come on camera, please. Right, you guys get the gist. This is what they look like. They're by Chic. Check them out. Um, and then this drawer, ugh, if I can get it open, this is all of my skincare. So I've got all my makeup removing wipes. I've got my... my day cream, my night cream, um, some of my serums and treatments and everything like that. So, oh, and then all my face wash and things like that. So that is my skincare. Then this is the top of my vanity and you guys can see this is where I keep all of my brushes. These are all of my brushes that are not the fluffy brushes, like the crease brushes and everything. So I've got like my concealer brushes. I've got my eyebrow brushes, um, what I use to cut the crease and things like that. Then these are all of my face brushes. I've got my highlight brushes in the front, my blush brushes right here, my powder brushes, and then my contour brushes in the back, well contour and bronzer. Then these are all of my fluffy eye brushes. Um, so I've got all my like pencil brushes and then just all of my fluffy brushes. But then I've got this little plate thing where I keep all of my sponges on and then also an extra nose ring because I lose them literally every time I do makeup. This is what I use. This is basically my everyday makeup. So I've got my primers and my favorite foundations, concealers, eye, eye pencils, lip pencils, my current mascaras that I'm using. Um, these are my lip plumping treatments. These are my highlights that I use on a daily basis. These are my blushes. Those are all of my contour and bronzing products, my face powders, more face powders, my eyebrow stuff, and then these are just like random tools that I use. Okay, so I just did this yesterday and it doesn't look the best, but I did have it in my Game of Thrones collector box, but I wasn't using it, so I thought it would be a better idea if I put it on my vanity that I would get more use out of it. And my husband and son did pay like $250 for it, so I feel like... I should get use out of it. But this is my Game of Thrones collection. So I've got the um, 
the eyeshadow palette, the highlight palette, then the eye pencils, the blush, and then the four lipsticks, which you can see them down in there. So they're all there. The only thing that I do not have in this collection is I left the two sword brushes in the collector box. On this side, so these are all of my eye primers. Some of them are face primers, but I use them as eye primers. Then I've got my, um, uh, da, 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 my switch pan, hair ties. This little unicorn came in a bath bomb, and really, I don't know why I have it, except it's cute, and I thought that, I don't know, she needed a home, okay? And I like unicorns. So she sits on top of my lip scrub, and these are like the eyeshadow palettes. They're kind of like the everyday staple eyeshadow palettes. And then, of course, I got my pineapple mirror. All of my lip products are in this so I mean it goes pretty far back so these are all of my lip products well most of my lip products and then down below I have all of my single eyeshadows um, whether they're cream powders or liquids and then these are where I keep all my morphe palettes so I've got the James Charles the Jaclyn Hill and then two regular size morphe palettes Sorry if I'm blinding you, but this is the top of my makeup drawers. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys know this, but I collect these guys. I love the little pop vinyl people. So yeah, I've got Rainbow Bright, Eric Draven, Kurt Cobain, The Bride, and I don't think she has a name. I think she's just like a default character, but she's from Fortnite. Um, Ezra bought me that for, uh, for my birthday or Mother's Day. I can't remember. And these are some lashes that I actually need to clean. So if you guys wanna see a video on me cleaning my lashes, let me know. Oh, and I don't know if you guys remember, but I don't think I talked about it in a vlog. Someone sent me diet coffee. It's literally unopened. It's just sitting here. Uh, I don't know why I have it. I just need to throw that in the trash. There's nothing in this container. But then this is the Game of Thrones collector box that came with all my makeup. And like I said, it's got the two brushes in it. This guy needs to be fixed. I think he's from Fortnite. Yeah, he's one of the default guys from Fortnite and I just need to glue I just need to glue his foot on. But he's there keeping me company and I just lost his foot so I have to find that. And then tweezers because if I set them anywhere else I will lose them. So they just sit here all the time. Oh and then my unicorn lamp. There she is. So then top drawer of my makeup drawers. This is what I just did. So I have my skincare face sprays but then these are my setting sprays and priming sprays then i have like my face powders my primers are in the back then these are my concealers then all of these are my different foundations and then i've got these divided up so these are eyeliners and these are mascaras and yes this i have a couple non cruelty free items that i've gotten either in subscription boxes or like this one is um, a sample that I got I got from Ulta. So I do have a couple non cruelty things, but I've not personally purchased them myself. Okay, and then in this drawer, which this is what I just kind of like semi-organized, but like I really didn't organize. As you can see, I have lots of room to grow. There is nothing in this because I don't know what to put in it, but I've got like my contour palette, my blush palette. These are my full face palettes. I think this is highlight. I think this is blush. This is blush. And then back here, I've got my Alamar blush. But then I've got like bron my bronzer overflow, blush overflow. Then these are my lashes. All of this, um, these are my highlights that I have as overflow. And then these are, I already said my full face palettes. But then, so in this drawer, this is all of my high end uh, eyeshadow palettes. They're not really organized by brand. It's more by size for the most part. Like these two are Too Faced. But then I also have like this one down here is a Too Faced. But then like these, I think I have like, I think I have like one, two, three, four Tarte tar palettes there. And then I have a Tarte palette there. So they're not really organized by brand. They're more like by size. And this is the final drawer. And this is where I keep all of my affordable palettes. But they're not standing up because I don't really have enough space and I don't want them to all fall over and make a big mess. But that is kind of like what my vanity is looking like right now. I might get some more organizational stuff and organize a little bit better later, but I just, I want to have room to grow and I want to have room so that I can like quickly grab the things that I use, especially on a daily basis. This desk is actually the same desk that I used when I went to college and all I did was just clean it up, obviously, because it was in... Uh, storage and it got really really messy but then I got some of that stick em, stick on top whatever I don't know it's like the cabinet 
sticker stuff and then I just cover the top of it. So that's my vanity. I don't think you guys have ever seen it all. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And yeah, I have other stuff to go clean. So yeah, and all this stuff back here, if you see this big giant mess um, in the video, this is all stuff that's going to Goodwill. Uh, I have so much crap. There's a big pile here. There's a big pile across the room. Half of that bookshelf is just stuff that I need to go through because when I have no nowhere else to put something, I just find myself sticking it on top of the bookshelf. But that is my vanity tour and my vanity organization. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But now I'm going to go clean animal cages. Yay!